Hey guys, oh, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the network hash rate drop that happened on Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash because of the halvenings that they, they just had. And basically what a halvening is for them is the rewards drop from 12.5 down to 6.25 per block now. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go through prices and uh, network hash rates. And as well, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin, all right, as well as, uh, you know, the Bitcoin halvening and some other stuff uh, near the end of the video. Okay, so let's begin with the price action for Bitcoin SV. And yeah, I mean, theoretically, from past history uh, for some coins, you know, when there is a run up in price uh, due to the news, then there's technically a sell-off after, okay? So <laughs> buy the rumor, sell the news kind of thing. So like recently, Bitcoin SV and uh, Bitcoin Cash, you know, on the run-up to their halvening, in my opinion, it the prices generally went up, generally, okay? Not not that much, but uh, in correlation to the profitability, it's it's not profitable, at all correlation with the network hash rate the existing network hash rate that was maybe a couple days ago uh, up until now and i'll show you guys uh some network hash rates here in a second but you can see here in terms of their prices they haven't really moved that much it actually went down after their happenings okay so i think the peak uh pretty much i think uh, two or a couple days ago, uh, one or two days ago uh the happenings for bitcoin sv and uh, bitcoin cash okay and you can see the prices for Bitcoin SV was about $218. And then uh, as of making this video, it's around $214. So who knows if that's going to keep up or not. And then Bitcoin Cash was about $234 or $267 uh, like a day or two ago. And then it dropped down to $256. Okay, so uh, now it's uh, $234 as of making this video. So it's, gonna, it's, it's coming down. And that doesn't bode well for the miners that are mining Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash. Okay, and so yeah, I explained what a halvening is and they just had it. And they're going to have another one. Uh, I guess both of these coins, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, they're going to have a halvening in about 1,500 days. Okay. And with that, they're going to go from 6.25 to 3.125. And that's going to happen in the next uh, four years. Yeah, another four years or so. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is the same thing. Okay, and now I want to talk about the network hash rates. Okay, so so after the halvening, so let's, let's, let's look at uh, Bitcoin SV, for instance. Okay, so it looks like you know on the run up to let's see the past couple days actually the network hash rate for bitcoin sv was rising it was rising and it went from like let's see april 4th it went from like 2.4 exahash uh, up to about 3 exahash and it looks like it peaked a little bit higher but now okay now it uh, looks like uh, bit info charts is not quite updated for uh, a possible uh, the drop I think the network hash rate for Bitcoin SV now, according to mining pool stats, is 1.86 exahash. So from 3 to 1.86 would be a considerable drop, uh, quite a big drop, pretty much, I would say less than half, probably, yeah, less than half, maybe one third, a little bit more than one third for sure. Um, 1.86 exahashes versus 3 exahash maybe a day ago. And uh, yeah, that's obviously due to the profitability, right? The profitability of mining Bitcoin SV is not there because really in order to stay at about three exahashes, we would need to see Bitcoin SV at about $400 to, to, to be profitable at like residential rates. God forbid, like I, I hate talking about Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash guys, uh, but I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to Bitcoin soon here. OK, uh, let's go now through Bitcoin Cash. All right. So I believe uh, Bitcoin Cash had their happening like a day before Bitcoin SV. Um, but you can see here the run up to the happening for Bitcoin SV, uh, Bitcoin Cash. Sorry, the hash rate went up a little bit. All right. I would say 0.1 of an exahash, 0.2 of an exahash. And from there, from 3.5 exahash all the way down now to it looks like 1.85 1. 1. exahash. So yeah, that's pretty much a half 
uh, <laughs> a halvening in network hash rate as well as their rewards. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense because Bitcoin Cash, the price didn't go up double as well okay so it doesn't make sense to mine it as it's not profitable okay so i'll, I'll do a calculation here on like an ant miner s17 uh to what to mine on what to mine in a second here but yeah if we look at the bitcoin cash hash rate according to mining pool stats right now uh, as of making this video and i feel like it's going to go lower it's at 2.44 exahash right now okay 2.44 exahash and i'm not sure yeah, it looks like the network hash rate may have jumped back up on uh, Bitcoin Cash. But, you know, I bet you this is going to be fluctuating, really, the, for the next week. It's going to be fluctuating a lot. And really, uh, as well as Bitcoin SV, the network hash rates uh, for these two coins are going to be fluctuating. As, uh, you know, it's going to be leveling off due to whatever is profitable for these uh, for these miners that were mining Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash, right? Okay, so now let's take a look at the profitability. What's the profitability of Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash? So we're going to go to what to mine. And I'm not quite sure if these are up to date uh, in terms of their, you know, network hash rates, difficulty, all that kind of stuff. It's probably going to change all the time. Uh, but for example, a 53 terahash at miner S17 at about 2000 watts at 10 cents kilowatt hour residential average. All right. Hit calculate. We are getting a profitability of negative a dollar 58 a day. So at 10 cents kilowatt hour, not profitable. If we go 0. Let's say six kilowatt per hour for some people, uh, for some businesses that have subsidized electricity. You can see here they're still profiting about 43 cents a day. So, realistically, people that have big warehouses or doing it as a business or have subsidized electrical costs are going to be profitable. Um, same thing, uh, Bitcoin Cash, okay, 53 terahash at minor S17, 2000 watts, uh, 10 cents kilowatt hour, hit calculate. Uh, okay, so right now at 10 cents kilowatt hour, we're pretty much breaking even, all right, at four cents, you're negative four cents a day, um, give or take plus five, uh, plus, plus or minus 5% variation. Um, we can go 0 0.6 kilowatt hour per hour, and you're still making about $2 a day on Bitcoin Cash. And I'm pretty sure the network hash rates are going to be competing with each other. People are going to be moving towards whatever coin is going to give them the most profit. And, uh, you know, I, I, I believe a lot of the miners are going to be moving towards uh, Bitcoin as I think Bitcoin would be a little bit more profitable. And yeah, you can see the network hash rate for Bitcoin has been slowly rising as well. Okay, so finally, I want to talk about Bitcoin, all right? They're going to be having a halvening in 32 days and 9 hours and 54 minutes as of making this video. I will keep you guys updated and uh, I, I think I'll have a video in about maybe a couple weeks from now talking about the Bitcoin halvening and what I think is going to happen. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, this, is a, this is a pretty big event. A lot of people like talking about it. And uh, in terms of uh, history, you know, the halvenings, I have, a, I have a little chart here. In terms of the halvenings previously, uh, there's been kind of like a, a, a lag, like a two month, three month lag after the halvening for Bitcoin. That, that's when the prices started to run up. Now, I'm not trying to, this is not like financial advice or anything. I'm not trying to uh, shill anything or uh, uh, put any hopium into anyone's mind, but for this to happen, I mean, yeah, the last happenings, the last two happenings, the, the prices went up after about two to three months, right? Are we going to have that similar situation happen with Bitcoin now uh, coming up in about uh, 32 days? So that's something I want to keep watch of and uh, I'll keep you guys notified. I'll keep you guys updated for sure. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's the Bitcoin happening in about May 13th. Okay. May 13th, 2020. Uh, that's when we're going to go from 12.5 to 6.25 coins per, uh, per block. And my prediction, I don't know. I, I'll have a prediction later on, but it's not, I, I have a feeling it's not going to be good. Um, yeah. Network hash rates are going to drop drastically. Profitability is going to go down. Uh, it, <laughs> like I said, it, it really depends if the Bitcoin price is going to double um, in terms of, uh, t in order to make sense for miners to keep on mining, right? So yeah, 
anyways, my friends, that's it. It looks like uh, we've had some network hash rate drops uh, for Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash. And uh, please let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of a lot of you guys that watch me probably aren't ASIC miners as much and don't mind Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV. Uh, but uh, I wanted to cover this because it was interesting and it's it's cool to see what other coins and network hash rates are happening around our ecosystem. Okay, my friends. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.